Good evening everyone. Now tonight's story is about one of the miracles Jesus did whenever he was alive. Now you maybe already know what a miracle is but if you're not too sure you can have a chat with somebody at home. But a miracle is something that was so different and so special that only Jesus was able to do it and he was only able to do it because he was God's son. It wasn't just something that anybody could do. It was only Jesus could do these things because he was God's son. Now, the first miracle, you're gonna hear about one for the next few weeks, but the first one is all about a man, but the man had a very sad problem because there was something wrong with his legs. He was paralyzed, which meant that his legs weren't nice and straight like all of yours. They were bendy. He couldn't run, he couldn't walk. He couldn't jump, he couldn't hop, he couldn't do any of the things that you do in school or in the playground because his legs were bendy. So because he couldn't walk anywhere, he had four friends. Like I've got four bits of paper to help me. He had one, two, three, four. He had four very good friends and they wanted to help him because this man was a Christian and so were his four friends. And this man really wanted to see Jesus because he knew how special Jesus was. But there was a bit of a problem. Because so many people wanted to hear about Jesus and wanted to hear what he had to say, everywhere Jesus went, it was always very, very busy. So Jesus one day was going to a town called Capernaum. And in Capernaum, they, he went into a house to talk to lots of people about the things that he could do and about the things that God wanted him to tell people. But because there were so many people in the house, the house was full. But the man really wanted to see him. So the four friends helped him get around. They made him a bed. And they carried him on the bed to where Jesus was going to be. But whenever they got there, they couldn't get in through the front door. They had to look through a window and whenever they looked through the window they realised the house was full. There was no way anybody else could get into it, especially not somebody who was on a bed. So the friends had a think and they thought right we need to get him to see Jesus. So they went round the back of the house and they found some stairs and they carried the man on his bed up the stairs and they got to the roof and when they got to the roof, they did something quite clever. They cut a great big hole in the roof. And they used a rope to let the man who was on the bed down through the hole in the roof. And Jesus was underneath, he was in the room. And all of a sudden, he saw a rope helping a man on a bed come through this hole. And the man on the bed was put down onto the ground and Jesus asked him what he was doing and the man explained he wanted to see Jesus so much that his four friends had helped him down because he believed that Jesus was special that he was God's son and he really wanted to hear what Jesus had to say and he believed that Jesus could make blind people see could heal people and could help people like him be healthy again. So Jesus decided to show everybody who was in the room what he could do because he was God's son. So he told the man, your faith in me that I am God's son has shown me how much you love me and how much faith you have that I am God's son. So he told the man, stand up Pick up the mat that you're lying on and walk. And that is exactly what the man did. Jesus had another miracle. He made the paralyzed man walk again. He picked up his mat and he walked out of the room. And everybody in the room was able to see that this man who was paralyzed was now perfectly healthy. And he was able to do that because he was God's son. And God forgave everybody's sin. Now, a few weeks ago, we were learning about Easter. And at Easter time, there's the cross. 
And the cross is our symbol of how much God loves us. Because on the cross, that was when Jesus died. And whenever Jesus died on the cross, all our sins were forgiven because God loves us so much. So that's the first miracle that we are gonna be learning about. Now you've got some craft to make and you could even have a go making your own stairs and your own window and your own bed to help you remember the story. So thanks very much for listening. Bye. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. I will follow you. Oh, my lighthouse, my to show up. boys and girls and welcome back after your big long Easter break. Hopefully you're back to school now and you're enjoying being with all your friends and your teachers as well learning again. So this craft is in relation to our story about the lame man and this is the craft that you're going to be making. So I'm going to put it back way back here and it is basically a storyboard and it starts off um, where in the story um, where all these men are trying to get their friend who can't walk down to see Jesus who's in this building but it's so crowded they can't get in so they start to take the roof apart and they lower the man down on his mat 
you can see there. So the man gets to see Jesus and Jesus is absolutely astonished and bowled over by all their trust and the faith that they have, that they need their friend to see Jesus to be healed, that he says to the man that he that he is, his sins are forgiven and, and he is healed. So this is our craft for today and I hope you enjoy making it. Okay, boys and girls, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to ask a grown up to help you to um, print this out. Now, I would advise that you print it out on card and then it means then that it's a wee bit more sturdier. And once you've got that done, then we are going to colour it in. So I'm just going to go off camera, colour it in and then I'll come back again. Okay, so now that we have it all coloured in and all nice and bright and colourful, we are going to cut it all out. Okay, so I'm going to show you what you need to cut out. So, now again, you're maybe need a grown up to help you with this so that you can get your edges all nice and straight. And plus, um, scissors can be quite sharp as well. Make sure your edges are nice and straight. Okay, now this part, you will definitely need a little bit of help from someone. So we have to cut little slits in here and it means then that um, this little piece of card will flow through and it will create a storyboard so you can see all the different stages of the story. So I have... Uh, now you could just cut across them. Now you will notice that the lines are darker there, there, there. And then you can see up there too. That is where you need to cut. So if you ask your grown up to help you, now you can do it with scissors. I'm going to do mine with just a little crafting knife and a ruler. And it means then my lines are nice and straight. But as I say, you can use scissors, but you do need to ask a grown up for, your, for help with this. Okay, so that's just make sure you can see that, that there's a whole cut and then this one up here. And then this one's going to be a little bit harder because it's on a curve. So Okay, I'm just going to put this away and it's the same with your scissors, always put them away so they're safe whenever you're finished with them. Now we're going to slide this up through here. Like that. And it has to go through there. Okay, so it's not like you're waving a basket. Turn this over and do it this way if you think it's easier just to get this part up and just feed it through. And then the last one, and it is a little bit fiddly, but it does make your storyboard very interesting. So this one is it here so that's your starting position so the verse is from mark chapter 2 verse 3 to 5 some men came bringing to jesus a paralyzed man since they could not get him into jesus because of the crowd they made an opening in the roof and then lowered the mat the man was lying on when jesus saw their faith he said to the paralyzed man Son, your sins are forgiven. So you can see here that Jesus is down inside the room and all his friends are starting to lower him down. So you just pull this from the back and you can see then the story is changing. And there's Jesus talking to the paralyzed man. And then the last thing is Jesus heals him. So it's all very um, special and it is one of the biggest miracles in the Bible. Um, so hopefully you have fun making this. Now it is a little bit fiddly and you might need your grown up to help you, but hopefully you will have the best fun making this. It would be great if we could see your um, crafts finished. I'm just pushing this up through. Now, if you do find that it is a bit fiddly, what you could do is ask your grown up to punch a hole in the end of this for you and um, put a wee bit of ribbon on either end of it. And it means then you've got something to tug it with. So I'm just going. So you can see even here that there's little lines, so that tells you how far to go down for each part of the story.
okay boys and girls so hopefully you will have fun making this i have attached a printable to this video so um it means any your grown-up helper can help you print it out okay boys and girls have fun take care bye bye